but we are not gatekeeping on this channel. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jen, if you're new here, and today I'm going to be filming a little get ready with me where I do this makeup look that I have here. So if you want to see how I did this, just keep on watching. First things first, I always use this Laura Mercier. It's I've turned so many people onto this product. It it makes your skin look so like glowy, flawless, and it actually has pretty good coverage considering it's just a, um, a tinted moisturizer. Uh, I would really recommend you trying this if you're in the market for another one. And honestly, I just put it on with uh, my hands because it's so easy. It's really um, foolproof to be honest. Now, I have this in the color Bisque. I could have went even a shade lighter than this. Um, but I'm actually self-tanned right now, so it ends up working out. Next up, important step, concealer. I have tried a lot of expensive concealers. <laughs> I've tried the NARS one, I've tried Hourglass. I always come back to the, it's called the Master Conceal by um, Maybelline. It's incredible. I don't, it's half the price of expensive concealers. It's, you don't need that much. It's amazing. I mean, it just instantly brightens. So I'm actually, I'm getting ready today because I'm going to my friend and college roommate's um, baby shower, which is super exciting. Uh, but I have to drive upstate about three hours. So <laughs> that will be fun. But yeah, I'm super excited to, um, to see her and celebrate. They don't know what they're having, which is also a little bit of added excitement. So yeah, it should be a good time. Okay. So one of my personal favorite steps, <laughs> bronzer. This Charlotte Tilbury bronzer has stolen my heart. It's huge, which I love. It has a mirror. Um, it also has hyaluronic acid in it, which is amazing for your skin. And the color is just perfect. It blends really well. Um, I just, I love it. Now, it's a little bit more of an expensive bronzer, but what's nice about this is you buy it once, and then the next time you need to buy it, you can just buy the refill, so you're saving money on that. And it's better for the environment, so it's a win-win. Okay. Next, I'm gonna do a little, ah, no, let's do brows. So I don't do a ton of my brows. First I use this precisely my brow pencil from, um, Benefit. I use the shade 3.5. I just fill in a little bit over here. I, I don't. I must have gotten my eyebrows done when I, a lot when I was younger, and they took off a chunk and <laughs> never grew back. So um, there, my eyebrows are pretty dark already, so I don't like to um, fill them in too much. But I do a little bit. So I use that. And then I go in with the, the Gimme Brow, which I've also loved for a long time. I like that it had, like it gives your brows some color, but it also holds them in place. A little bit of that. Okay, now we're ready for the eyeshadow. 
another favorite. This palette. It's called the Get It Together Eyeshadow Palette. It's by Honest Beauty. You don't need anything else. Throw out everything else. <laughs> um, let me show you the colors. You can see, obviously, the ones I go for a lot, but it's beautiful. It's got like some taupes, it's got your browns, it's got almost like a purple over here, white, black. You don't need anything else. So, if you're in the market for a new eyeshadow palette, I would recommend getting this one. I'm actually going to put a little concealer on my eyelids. This one to like a primer. Because I'm going to be drying for your hours and I want to make sure that this stays on. Okay. So, I always use the same three colors. I first go with this like, middle like, taupe color. And I do that all over the lid. And I do it a couple of times to really kind of darken it up. Then I go in with this darker taupe brown shade. And when I do it for my eye shape, I go on the end here and then I blend in the crease. Okay. Then I go in with this pretty, it's kind of like a champagne, slightly pink color, and I put it on the inner to the middle, inner corner to the middle of the lid, really highlight the inner corner. Sometimes I'll use this as like a highlighter and I'll put a little here, a little here. Because sometimes like normal highlighter is just like in your face. <laughs> now we have eyeliner. Again, I've used expensive eyeliners in the past. You don't need them. I get this from CVS. It's got a brush wand. And it's actually really easy to use. So, I don't do anything dramatic. I go really close to the lid. I mean, the, um, the eyelash line. And I only go about, I just messed up. <laughs> I go about halfway. I don't go all the way in to my inner corner. I just think for my eye shape, that's what looks best, so. dry for a minute because otherwise if you mess with it it'll transfer onto your lid and then it's a whole problem so it's funny being 26 because half of my friends are like woo we live in the city let's party <laughs> and then the other half are like they have houses married baby on the way so it's very interesting uh, okay so next step Best stuff. If you listen to anything I say in this entire video, it is to buy this mascara. I have been watching YouTube for so long, nobody talks about this mascara, and I don't know why. But we are not gatekeeping on this channel. So, once again, it's the benefit, they're real. I've tried so many mascaras, this one, does the job, it's the best one. So, now you know. Go buy this. Let me know what you think in the comments. <laughs> I mean, you're kidding me? Look at this. Do you see the difference? I'm gonna zoom in there. 
that. Go do the other eye. Now, some people will do two coats with their mascara. I don't do that. Um, but you could definitely, this is definitely a buildable mascara if you wanted to, you could build it up. I've actually been kind of liking the look of putting mascara on the bottom lashes. I usually don't do this, and I don't do it a lot, but it just kind of opens your eyes a little. So. I have pretty long lashes, so if I do too much, I start to look crazy. <laughs> but just a little to kind of like darken it up and create some drama. There we go. Okay, so we're almost there. This is kind of new. I started using this. It's the H2O gloss by Tarte. Love the packaging. <laughs> um, but this color is so pretty. And this is what I usually gravitate towards some kind of like light pink, shiny gloss. So there you have it, my little makeup routine. This is a little more elevated, but still pretty simple. Um, not too many steps. I'm not someone who wants to like cake makeup on. I like to still kind of look like myself and look natural. So now that the makeup is done, I'm gonna do a little touch up to my hair. And then I did this with the, uh, the Dyson, but I need to touch it up a little bit and then I will show you my outfit and then we will be on the road. <laughs> this is what it looks like in the natural light. Just wanted to give you a, another view because the lighting in my bathroom isn't great, so. So this is a jumpsuit from Lulu's. I just got it. I think it really works for a baby shower. It's very like whimsical and flowy. It's pink, but we all know what she's having. So <laughs> it works both ways. And then these are shoes I've had for a while. These are from Kelly and Katie. They're super comfortable. They're like a three inch, two and a half inch heel. And yeah, I can dance in them all night if I need to. So <laughs> editing Jen here. We rushed out in such a hurry to the baby shower that I forgot to end this video, so. Do me a favor, like and subscribe, and if you wanna go see what the actual baby shower looks like, go watch my uh, vlog. I'll link it here, so see you guys later.